Water is vital for life. But for many, the reality is drinking dirty water that can carry deadly illnesses such as cholera. People like Beatrice know of the dangers, but there's often no alternative. The water is passing all the way a long distance, and the people of this area, they are using that water, washing their body, clo washing clothes. But expensive boreholes proved dry or unworkable in many semi-arid areas, like here in Yatta. Due to a lack of groundwater in this area, 70% of people rely on the kind of surface water you can see behind me. But tests have shown that it's full of parasites from animal and human waste and other contaminants. Chlorine can kill many of the bacteria, but it's often hard to find or use, is expensive or poor quality. But this device, the SE200, is taking on waterborne disease by allowing people to make their own chlorine using a motorbike battery, dirty water and a spoonful of salt. It's simple enough for anyone to use, even the students at this school can learn. The container tells you how much salt and water to use. You then connect it to a power source. It might seem strange that it's designed to work with a car or motorbike battery, but often in remote areas, this is the only source of electricity. The power from the battery triggers a chemical reaction and the water and salt combine to form chlorine. It takes five minutes to make enough chlorine to purify 200 litres of water. Although children making chlorine sounds dangerous, it's actually weaker and cheaper than the alternatives found in local shops. The device costs around $200. Although still expensive for these communities, charities are working with them to show how they can recoup their investment in months and be able to provide 200 people treated water for five years. And you can't put a price on health. There's the whole health benefit that we probably would not be able to compute. Like we'd have eight out of 10 people who don't have access to clean source of drinking water. Now having some sort of uh, protection against their real diseases. So I, I believe it's a huge savings on the part of the community. The device was developed in more than 10 countries, including Ghana, India and Haiti. The finished product is now being trialled. In Kenya, World Vision has trained 35 groups in two areas. There is now hope that even in remote areas, the device could strip out the diseases that keep parents away from farms and children classrooms and make water a source of life, not continued poverty. Hannah McNeish, BBC World News, Yatta, Kenya.